Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Today is our last day. In Denver. We're gonna take you through what we would do on our last day in Denver, as our first video ever was last day in Denver. But we got other people's suggestions in the last video. We thought it was fitting that on our last day in Denver, we do what we love to do. So, where are we going first? We are headed out to Castle Rock, just outside Denver. We're gonna hit up a, a hiking trail hmm. before we get our day started. Okay, let's do it. All right guys, we made it. We are at East Plum Creek Hiking Trail. It's about 30 minutes outside of Denver, so not too far, but it's a good escape from the city. It's good to enjoy nature in Colorado. So we're just taking it all in. Get some food. We were walking through. We had some samples. Yep. Tried Fresh some fruit, things out. Plums, peaches. We decided to buy a green chili and pork hand pot. Looks like it's got some cracked red pepper on top. Maybe a little spicy. A little green chili, which is awesome because it's green chili season. It may be pretty hot on their own, so we'll see how that goes. Mmm. <laughs> I don't need to tell it's going to be spicy. But even the crust is really good. <laughs> mm, the pastry is so flaky. Yeah, it's good. Bomb sauce. Bomb sauce. All right, guys, so we just got finished over at Union Station. We had a little snack, but now we're even hungrier. We want something else. <laughs> On our last day in Denver, we had to stop by one of our favorite coffee shops where we like to go and hang out and uh, get work do, done. Get some work done. Yeah, so. Our next stop here, we are in the Rhino district of downtown Denver, and we're hitting up Crema Coffee. Alright guys, so we're at Crema and I got a vanilla latte. They got a nitro cold roast. We also went for their special today, which is a Cubano. So we got that sandwich here along with some pasta salad. Bam! So we got ham, pulled pork, pickles and cheese in this bad boy. Very yummy. in Denver. We still got to do some stuff. Let's get some work done. This is a very, very special spot because when we first moved downtown, it was one of the first places we seeked out and we continually come back to visit. This spot is actually tucked away uh, down Larimer Square, uh, kind of out in an alleyway, but it comes, it, you're open to this great big garden area. As you can see, they've got a great patio, they've got all this garden. Our last place is Bistro Bendo, amazing French bistro, and we're excited to be back on our last day in Denver. This is one of our favorite spots. Have a quick bite, have a drink. Definitely holds a special place in our heart. We usually come here for happy hour. Our favorite thing to get on the menu is called the Uzi and Boozy. What that is is a grilled cheese and a glass of champagne. The grilled cheese is changed every week. So every week you come here, 
it will have a different specialty grilled cheese for you to try. My favorite grilled cheese actually had green apple slices in it. So that's how intricate they get. We got our food and it one, smells amazing and two, looks incredible. We ordered the Uzi and Boozy, which is our glass of champagne and our grilled cheese, which is very unique. I've actually never heard of this, but it's on a French baguette. It's got slices of gru Gruyere cheese, slices of endive, and a cranberry sauce reduction. So a little sweet, a little savory, and all grilled into this ooey gooey awesomeness. We also got um, a side of palm frites, which is um, as easy as uh, french fries. I'm super excited. Oh man. Whoa guys, that was a really incredible bite. You get the gooeyness from the Gruyere, you get a little crunch from the endive, although it's roasted, so it's not as crunchy when it's fresh. This cranberry reduction is like syrup. It's so good, it's really, really sweet. It really mixes well with what we've got here on the grilled cheese, and it's hot sauce. Cheers. There's so many different flavors, but they all mix together like so well. The sweetness with the savoriness of the cheese. It's just all a good combo together. Mm, these are like the best french fries you'll ever eat. I'm not sure what they put on it, but there's a sweetness on the fries as well. Maybe like a honey glaze or a syrup, but it's really good. Grilled cheese. Completely gone. Really good. But that ends it for our last day in Denver, guys. This was our last spot. If you are interested in visiting Bistro Bendome, it's tucked between the Smokehouse and the Green Russell uh, on Larimer Square between 14th and 15th. Um, we highly recommend it. Come by, get the Uzi and Boozy, tag us at Neverending Exploration, and let us know what you thought. If you liked our video, please like and subscribe as we go along on this incredible adventure through Southeast Asia. We hope you follow us along our way. See ya!